Mississippi Tornado's 100-mile trail of destruction in pictures. Pictures have revealed a trail of havoc more than 100 miles long across Mississippi after a huge tornado hit the state on Friday, killing at least 25 people. Search and rescue workers are surveying the damage of shredded homes, flattened buildings, and smashed cars left by the 200 miles per hour winds. Hundreds have been displaced in Mississippi and neighboring Alabama, and officials have warned the danger has not yet passed. The National Weather Service, NWS, told residents of the two states that potential new supercell thunderstorms could hit late on Sunday with the potential to produce a few strong tornadoes and very large hail. The NWS gave Friday's tornado a rating of 4 out of 5 on the enhanced Fujita scale. Before and after satellite images released late Sunday showed utter ruin across parts of Rolling Fork a small town almost wiped out by the storm, with homes destroyed and trees ripped out of the earth. Dozens of people have also been injured, and officials say the death toll could rise. U.S. President Joe Biden has declared a state of emergency, deploying federal resources to help with the rescue and response in some of the worst hit areas. Crews are working to fix power lines pinned down by broken trees, which have caused thousands of people to lose power to their homes. Mr. Biden's emergency order to support recovery efforts will provide grants for temporary housing, home repairs, and low-cost loans to cover uninsured property losses, the White House said on Sunday. An area was set up in Rolling Fork as an infirmary and boxes full of food and medical supplies were shuttled in to support storm victims who had lost everything, said John Brown, a Red Cross official, for Alabama and Mississippi. Rolling Fork Mayor Eldridge Walker told CNN that his town was essentially wiped out. My city is gone. But we are resilient and we are going to come back strong, he said. Similar destruction plagued Silver City, where residents were seen salvaging what they could from their destroyed homes. Officials including U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas gathered in Rolling Fork Sunday afternoon, praising rescue efforts and pledging support for the long haul. It is heartbreaking to hear of the loss of life, to see the devastation firsthand. Mr. Mayorkas told a press conference held with Governor Tate Reeves and Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, head D.N. Criswell. He warned that the country is seeing extreme weather events increasing, in gravity, severity, and frequency, and we have to build our communities to be best prepared for them.